Hey everybody, it's Michael here with GoodyReader.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to load ebooks on your Kobo Mini e-reader. I'm going to show you how to use Calibre, Adobe Digital Editions, Dropbox, and good old Windows Explorer. The main reason we're doing these a series of videos is to basically teach you when and why you want to use these specific programs. In some cases, you may purchase downloads from the internet, so you may do business with Barnes & Noble, Sony, and a myriad of other companies. Anybody that really deals in the EPUB format, you can buy books and then load them on your e-reader. We'll show you what to do and why. And the first thing that we're going to start with today is Caliber. It's a free download. You can get it from basically the official site. You need 0.9.1 in order to have the Kobo Mini support. If you download it for, for, for the first time, you should un automatically have this version. If you have an older version, you may want to consider upgrading. The reason why I really like Calibre, and I'm going to add a book to my library, it's simply left clicking on Add Books and adding a sample book we have here. It's a Reflected in You by Sylvia Day. Calibre allows you a lot of flexibility. It could basically do a lot of things for you, such as change the title of the book, change cover art. In order to do this, you want to add the book and then click Edit Metadata, Edit, edit Metadata individually. And here we have all the details here. When you download books from the internet, and a lot of times it won't have cover art, it'll be in incompatible format, so it may be like in, you know, text or Mobi or PRC or a ton of other formats and you may want to change it to an EPUB friendly format. In other cases, the book uploader's name may be in the title, both the author's name and book name may be in the title and if you have like 10, 50, 100 books, your e-reader could soon be quite unmanageable in finding content. A lot of people want the author's name to be properly inputted as well as the title name. If you have purchased a book, this should automatically be quite evident. But if you download books from the internet, sample books, uh, it may not have all this. So for instance, I just want the title reflecting in you. I don't want a crossfire novel. You see here it's turned red. I'm going to hit this arrow button here and it's turned to green. You can see here there's no tags, there's no IDs, there's no ISBN numbers or anything like that. Let's look this up. And in some cases, you may also want to change the cover art. Once you actually have the proper title and the author's name, you'll be able to download the metadata. And what Calibre is doing is basically talking to Amazon, Google, and querying them for the book. So it's found the book. I'm going to click Next. And you see here has the same cover art. Sometimes the same book will have different cover art on different providers. Let's go with the Google one and click OK. We have suddenly an ISBN number, tags, fiction, romance, contemporary, and it's changed some of the comments here, which is basically a synopsis of the book. I'm just going to click OK because I dig all those changes. Now, in other cases, you may have downloaded, a, say, a sample of this book in a format that's incompatible with your Kobo Mini. I'm going to show you just quickly how you change ebooks from one format to another. We want to right click, convert books, convert books individually. You see, right now it is an EPUB format, but say your book may be in Mobi or FB2. SNB. I don't know where you'd find books in that format, but hey, you never know. So let's say that we want to convert this book to a Kindle friendly format. We would select Mobi and then click OK. You can see here under Jobs 1, it's working as magic. And you also see right here under Formats, it says EPUB. And once it's finished converting, Right next to that, it should say Mobi, and what it's basically doing is splitting this book into two different files. So you now have an independent EPUB file and an independent Mobi file. So when you plug in your Kobo e-reader to Calibre via the USB cable, a picture of the device should occur right here. This should show you all the content on your devices. You see here we have many issues of the Vancouver Sun as well as a lot of free and paid books that we've purchased from Kobo. 
So let's say that we like all the changes that we've made and we want to send this to the device. It's just as quickly as right clicking and then send the device's main memory. Alternatively, say you have a large number of books, you know the cover art's all good, or you don't care, you can click on device, add books, browse your computer for the book that you want to add, and once this jobs is done, the book will just automatically be copied into your e-reader. The reason why I like Caliber, tremendous flexibility, changing e-book formats from one format to another, changing cover art, and changing a lot of things. See a check mark here? The book has been added. Here we have Adobe Digital Editions. This is also a free download. The main reason why you want to use this program is for books that you have purchased from the library or books that you have purchased from other companies in EPUB format. Again, when your Kobo is plugged into your computer, you should see this appear here under Devices. There are earlier versions of Adobe Digital Editions. Um, it's an unknown whether it has support for the Kobo Mini. I have 2.0, so this is the latest and greatest. You may want to upgrade. So if we click on our Kobo device, we see a number of books we have on it. What we want to do is add a book that we've uh, purchased, another sample book. So I'm going to go File, Add to Library. I'm going to add this book here. Now, in order to copy it to my device, um, I just simply need to drag and drop it. When you have installed Adobe Digital Editions for the first time, you may have to register an account, email address, password. Uh, they don't really ask you for too much private information, but you need to do it. And in some cases as well, when you're copying over books, you may want to enter um, some sort of user account information from the bookstores you purchased it with or credit card information. Uh, for library books, it's pretty simple to do it just as I showed you. And after about two weeks, the books should just automatically be sent back to the library. You really don't have to return them early, although libraries do encourage you to do that. So that's Adobe Digital Editions. Windows Explorer is a very popular and probably the go-to program for most people to copy ebooks. It's as simple as just dragging and dropping folks and as you can see here, we have a number of books on our Kobo Mini. If I want to say add a book, another sample book, The Mark of Athena. I'm just going to right-click, copy, go to my Kobo, right-click and paste. You don't want to mess with a lot of these directories here. I encourage you to just copy things to your root or just create directories that are indicative to like authors that you like. So if you have more than one book, or if you are a fan of a specific series, you may just want to create your own independent author directories just to manage your device a little bit easy. If you have only like 10, 15, 20 books, it's no big deal. But once you start getting into hundreds of books, it's probably essential you use Caliber because it's automatically creating directories with the author's names here. Uh, the last program I want to show you is Dropbox. The Kobo Mini uh, is a touchscreen e-reader. It, fun it has Wi-Fi functionality. It also has an internet browser. What this allows you to do is be able to access sites like Dropbox and store all of your books in the cloud. This ensures that whether you have a tablet, an iPad, or a ton of other devices with internet access and a web browser, so it could be really anything, you can access them with Dropbox. What this basically does is ensures that you don't really have to manually copy books from device to device. You can just access your Dropbox account, just uh, download the books that you want to uh, be reading at the time. This is perfect if you're going on vacation and you're, you know, I don't know if I want to load all these books on my e-reader, but as long as you're in your Dropbox account, you could pretty well access it anywhere where you're in your Wi-Fi area. Dropbox is free. You could basically store about a thousand plus books on there without even having to pay them anything. Once you create an account, you'll basically see this is your home. Pretty well lists all of the, the books you have on it. If I want to upload a book, I just click upload, choose files, 
select a book and it's basically uploading it. You can see here the final countdown as it's being uploaded. All right, we're good to go. It's right here. If you want to download this book, all you do is just access your Dropbox account through your Kobo web browser and you can just download the book straight to your device. These are pretty well the most common methods of transferring ebooks to your Kobo Mini. If you have any questions, concerns, or anything else, please comment on this YouTube video. If you're watching it on our website or other websites, it's youtube.com slash goodyreader. And you can just leave a comment, let us know your thoughts. And for all the latest news, reviews, such as the review of the Koba Mini that we did, uh, you can check out our website, goodyreader.com slash blog. And my name is Michael, and everybody take care.